know you too. I'm here with my boy. Ritachi Sun Terry. And we're here with a deck profile of Spellbooks. We're right here with Voto Saka, Chakra Rain, and Hero, aka Copete. <laughs> and your boy, Master Sai on the camera. Also known as Big Boy. So let's get straight into this deck profile. He said he got a spicy Spellbook deck profile for us. All right, I never stopped playing Spellbooks. I'm still on Spellbooks. My favorite deck ever, but uh, they're kind of outsped right now, so they're not really in the meta, so you kind of got to anti-meta them. So you know their game plan. So you just want to meta, anti-meta whatever they most of the meta is to try and win. So to do that, I play with All right, seven let's traps, yeah. lose one turn. I have to use that because um, cause people special summon so fast and they usually get to attacking me. So I automatically do lose one turn so I can at least get another turn, make that special summon monster. Slow down all the special summons, they come in too much. If you can't slow down special summons, you're probably going to lose the spell book. It's all in morning, of course. Try to stop special summons, normal summons. Mirror force, in case they get through just for some reinforcements. Uh, storming mirror force, you can maybe do quaking mirror forces. Any of the mirror forces just to help you and uh, debunk sometimes. Uh, just that gotta stop the special summons. You're, everybody's fashioning me, the special summoning, getting things out. We just gotta try to stop that to even get my game plan going. Now you know spell books. We use the hefty amount of uh, spell cards. And the spell cards that I'm using is uh, Regeki because we gotta get rid of the field. Book of Moon, just a Book of Moon, uh, Spell Book of Prophecy, or if somebody's coming to attack me and I just need to keep myself alive one more time. We're here to stun, because I'm really playing a Spell Book stun deck, so I'm trying to stun everything you're doing fast, and I'm trying to keep you from attacking me, so I'm stunning the attacks. I'm playing with three. I literally have to play with three, because sometimes I have to draw into this, or I'm too slow. One Crescent, because it's a dead card if I draw it and I don't need it, so I went down to one. I used to play two, but two is way too clunky. Two power, because you can recycle it. You can almost play one, but why not two if you got it? Two Master, because you recycle it. Easy. Two Fate, you recycle it. Two is good enough. Draw it, you cool. I play Spell Bucket Star Hall. This will make people nervous, because... Nobody expects you to drop Star Hall and just start adding in attack, attack 100, 100, 100 for every spellbook card to activate. Then I end up getting a blue boy that might be at 1500 to 2000 out of nowhere. Three secrets, that's a must. Yeah, secrets is the heart of the deck. Two tower. Your spellbook spell card. Uh, I tried village, but village is in the side deck because village. I'm mostly going for tower. I'm trying to draw. I'm slower than everybody else. So. Village doesn't help me too often. Yeah. See, and two problem, eternity. Stop. I'm Gotta get this stuff out the uh, removal play zone. And two wisdom. And one spell book of life. Cause uh, I apologize that that for that, guys. That don't in the background. <laughs> that chocolate rain and and Gopher, the goat fucker over here playing <laughs> grab ass. <laughs> Ow. Ow. There's a. So. That's a lot of spells, as you can see. Uh, but all necessary. All right, man. When you're side decking, you probably side deck your Book of Moon. You might side deck the Library of Crescent because the name. What would you What would you exchange for them? Um, exchange for them. It depends on the deck. Cause this is a, this is the main core of spell books already. So you can literally replace anything with anything you need. Macrocosmos, Summon Limited, Kaiser Coliseum. You literally can choose any of them. That's why it's just really built against going against the meta. Whatever deck you're going against. Uh, the tricky. Cause sometimes I just need a spell summon card, get it on the field, so I added a tricky in. And sometimes I just need a spell book card, I mean a spell cast a monster. Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer, just so I can attack. He gets to 2,000 easily with Star Hall. Justice, just for her effect. With Priestess and adding in a spell book spell card. Two Temperance, that he's weaker. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't like her, but I do when she, cause she can get to 2,000. A Jogging, because you gotta stun. You don't want too many special what stuns. Saying? So I'm trying to stun you. Everybody. Trying to stop your graveyard. Three That's blue boys. You gotta have blue boy. Ain't no choice if you're gonna run spell books. And three priestess. So. Damn, look at her. 
She was my girl first, at some point. First edition. First edition right here. All, yeah. all the way. All beautiful. The way. Is there anything you changing? Is there anything you changing your monster lineup? Nah, monster lineup. I wouldn't change anything. Maybe no hand traps, nothing like that. No, no hand traps. Cause I'm literally trying to trap them with the field. So if I change anything, it's like going to more threatening roars, uh, black horn of heaven. Cause I'm trying to stop special summon soul drain. I need them to stop negating stuff from the field and activate their graveyard. Okay. Uh, maybe may go another dark hole. Or they got too many cards. In the back row, so you go mystical space typhoon. Oh my bad! I, I really haven't picked a side deck because it's pretty anti-meta itself already. Uh, villages um, and really side deck. Honestly, my deck, I barely go into my side deck because my star hall. I'm literally trying to keep people from attacking with my. Swords are down light. I'm trying to stop them from attacking so I can stack my star hall. That way I can start attacking with these monsters and I don't even really have to go to the star hall. So special deck is literally... Oh, and regenerate. I can't even summon these level fours that are here, so they're just pointless. Literally, they're just level twos. Armor Cowboy, Shining Elf, number 11, Big Eye, because you gotta go even go into your sevens. What about uh Hero of Prophecy, you don't really go him at all. These don't matter. I don't play with level fours no more and all level twos. So I'm just going level twos if I even because most of the time these are the only two cards on the field that ever lets me go on top of each other. There's never never these three. So not really much of a special deck. You're really trying to stun the opponent and chip them out. It's it, this is a chip damage deck. Actually, I try to chip damage you, and it makes the game go even longer if they're avoiding me from chip damaging them, and I'm avoiding them from attacking me. Alright, if you were if you would run any other deck, what deck would it be? If I could run any other deck, um, it depends on what build you're gonna make it. There's really, I would run an Exodia deck if I had judgment, but. <laughs> I, don't really like, I don't really like any other. They did judgment. <laughs> they did judgment wrong. Yeah, they did judgment wrong. Once they did judgment wrong, I was upset. I mean, oh crap. Yeah, I don't. I don't really see no other deck I'd run. Like, uh, I, I try to perfect this deck as much as possible against the meta, but it doesn't fare well all the time. But it does catch people off guard. It's, a, it's a really good stun deck. Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to myself. <laughs> you can go to Couch Main Gaming for my YouTube channel for my um. Uh, yeah, video game. we'll definitely check that shit out, man. And that's it. That's a uh, spell book. I call it spell book stunt. That's All right, guys. It's, it's I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Just Voto Saka, Chocolate Rain, and Hero over here playing Pokemon on the Switch. Uh, hey guys, say hi, guys. Really? Yeah, I, wait, let me get their attention. I got food. Uh -huh, now I got their attention. They just want to pretend they're not. All right, so shout-outs to Shane Wolf that's not here right now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This was Master Side from Team Dark Side signing out. Deuce.